When you stand in front of a mirror, you see a reflection, a mere physical representation. Did you at some point in your life stare at your reflection, but feel like what you see isn't you? That's because your true self isn't just skin deep, it's the image you hold within your mind. And let's be real. Sometimes that image can be distorted by false information we've picked up. Dr. Maxwell Maltz, in the 1960s, described it as the most significant psychological discovery of his time. What is this invaluable insight? It's about your self-image, the essence of how you perceive yourself. This concept, explored by Dr. Maltz in his groundbreaking book Psycho-Cybernetics, merges psychology with cybernetics, a science once used to guide heat-seeking missiles toward their targets. Intrigued, Dr. Maltz talks about paradigms, a fascinating mix of ideas and habits deeply embedded in our subconscious, the treasure trove of our minds. These paradigms, influenced by both genetics and environment, are what make us who we are and why we resemble our relatives. Within you and every human being is a powerful mechanism, discovered during World War III, designed to guide you toward your goals. It's called cybernetics, and it's not just for missiles, it's for you too. Let's delve into this fascinating realm of self-discovery and uncover how you possess an internal cybernetic mechanism designed to steer you toward your goals. If you're in sales, a student, or if you're just navigating relationships, listen up, because what I'm about to share could be game-changing. It's all about how you perceive yourself, your self-image, is the key to unlocking success in every aspect of your life. Cybernetics and Paradigms These are like control systems that dictate our actions, much like a precedent course that we follow without even realizing it. You're stuck at a certain level, whether it's in sales or any other area. Your actions seem predictable, almost programmed, right? That's your paradigm at work. Now to change your results, you've got to change your paradigm. Take sales, for instance. Your sales manager can probably predict your performance next month or even next year because you're operating within a set pattern, a habitual paradigm. The same goes for athletes. Coaches know exactly how they'll play because they're stuck in their habitual patterns and their paradigms. So, let's dive deeper into this fascinating concept of cybernetics and paradigms and uncover how understanding and altering them can lead to remarkable transformations in your life. All right, imagine this. You're cosied up at home in Toronto during the winter, with your thermostats set to a comfy 70 degrees. You're engrossed in a book when suddenly you feel a draft around your feet, and it's getting chilly. Confused, you check the thermostat. It's dropped to 65 degrees. What gives? You investigate and find the front door open. Back in the day, you might have had to tend to the furnace, but not anymore. Enter the cybernetic mechanism of your heating system. Here's how it works. The thermostat detects the deviation from the set temperature goal of 70 degrees. It sends a signal to the furnace, which springs into action fires ignite, fans wear, and the temperature starts to climb. Gradually, it inches back up 66, 67, 68, 69, and soon enough, it's back on track at 70 degrees. Once achieved, the system automatically shuts off the fire and the fan. It's like magic all happening seamlessly and automatically. Pretty fascinating, right? This cybernetic mechanism ensures your comfort without you even lifting a finger. And that's just one example of how cybernetics can work wonders in our daily lives. Just like a thermostat, you have a similar mechanism within you a self-image locked deep within your subconscious. This self-image operates much like a cybernetic mechanism, guiding your actions and behaviors to keep you aligned with your goals. Your body image isn't set in stone. It evolves as you age with each life stage bringing its own set of body image challenges. Keeping a positive body image is a journey that spans your entire life. Improving a negative body image goes beyond just changing your physical appearance. It involves shifting how you perceive, feel about, 
and respond to your body. While weight management and surgery are options for altering your body, they're not the only solutions. Developing a healthy relationship with your body, flaws and all can actually enhance your ability to achieve weight loss goals. Consider surgery, for instance. It can offer physical changes, but true transformation also requires addressing internal shifts in body image. External alterations won't fully stick without internal acceptance and positivity. Let's imagine you're struggling with the self-image of being overweight. It's something you might not openly talk about, but deep inside you feel it weighing you down. Eventually, you reach a breaking point and decide to go on a diet. You dive into action, cutting out certain foods and restricting your intake, hoping to shed those extra pounds. Even as you start losing weight, the root issue isn't addressed self-image. You see, your self-image acts like a cybernetic instrument, dictating your actions and behaviors. So, unless you change that self-image, any weight loss you achieve will only be temporary. If you still see yourself as overweight, no amount of dieting will truly solve the problem. Your self-image drives your habits and choices, determining whether you maintain or regain the weight. It's like a built-in mechanism that constantly adjusts your course based on your perception of yourself. So, if you want lasting change, it's not just about what you eat or how much you exercise, it's about shifting that self-image to align with your desired outcome. Only then can you break free from the cycle of temporary results and create lasting transformation. It's all about your paradigm, the set of beliefs and habits that shape your actions and outcomes. Take a student in school, for example. Dr. Maxwell Maltz, in his book Psycho-Cybernetics, delves into this concept. Picture this. The student's subconscious mind holds an image, an image of poor grades. This self-image acts like a cybernetic instrument, influencing the student's performance and outcomes. To see real change, you've got to shift that self-image. Just like with weight loss, it's not enough to make heroic efforts if you don't address the underlying paradigm. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, what's the point of making heroic resolutions if the same old habits persist? So, whether it's achieving academic success or any other goal, it all starts with reshaping your self-image. You deserve to live life on your terms. It's time to grasp the concepts of self-image, cybernetics, and paradigms. Oscar Wilde once said, Selfishness is not living as one wishes to live. Selfishness is asking others to live as one wishes to live. You have the power to shape your reality, to live authentically, and to pursue your deepest desires. Life is fleeting, and you have the potential to achieve anything you desire. As God's highest form of creation, you possess the wisdom and courage to chart your own course. But to truly embrace this freedom, you must understand and harness the principles of self-image and cybernetics. So, don't waste another moment conforming to someone else's expectations. Take charge of your destiny and refuse to settle for anything less than extraordinary. This is your life, make it a phenomenal experience. Now, here's a simple exercise to kick things off. Take a moment to reflect on your current self-image across various aspects of your life. Identify any limiting beliefs or patterns that might be hindering your authenticity. Choose one area of your self-image that you'd like to enhance or change for the better. Begin by affirming positive statements related to this aspect of yourself and make a habit of repeating these affirmations daily to reinforce the desired transformation. Stay dedicated to your journey of self-discovery and growth remembering that you hold the power to shape your own reality.